Assalamualaikum and hello to everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. I'm Dr. Razan Hayati from Department of Hematology, University of Science Malaysia. So my posted topic is on the effectiveness of second dose Pfizer COVID-19. This is a case report from workplace transmission. So coronavirus disease is a zoonotic disease that outbreak from Wuhan, China, leading to pandemic disease declared by WHO in March 2020. They transmitted through asymptomatic or symptomatic individuals via droplets or airborne. Word-related transmission is one of the known patterns of this outbreak. And fortunately, the availability of effective vaccine potentially reduced the viral load and suppress the transmission rate. So here, I would like to report uh, workplace transmission cases protected again COVID-19 in those who completed the second dose of Pfizer community. So this is the, case, the first case, a 33 years old healthy care worker, Malaysia lady who is partially vaccinated, acquired COVID-19 from the parents living together in the same household. Case two is her husband who already completed two doses of vaccine and remained negative for conservative RT-PCR, and both were asymptomatic. So on further contract tracing, there were five of the close contacts identified, which we identify as case three up until case seven. And then out of those, uh, we identify the close contact. Uh, they were proceed with RT-PCR on the next day. So out of five cases, only case seven were tested to be positive and CT ratio for both CT value for both case one and case two were 21.6 respectively. So further history clarified, noted that the four cases, case three until case six, already completed second dose of Pfizer vaccine, more than two weeks apart, and then case seven only partially vaccinated. So the close contact tracing for case seven show positive for her son, but negative to her husband who already completed second dose of Pfizer commentary more than two weeks apart. So the blue uh, color indicate that they tested negative for the COVID-19, whereas the red color indicating the positive for COVID-19. So Pfizer commentary is used amongst our healthcare workers in Malaysia, and the, the, the vaccine was first given on 23rd February, and it was initially dedicated to the frontliners. It can be used in people above 16 years of age without any upper age limit. And the complete dose required two dose within 28 to 28 days interval, which second dose should not exceed 40 days for adequate protection. So the mechanism of action is that it involves delivery of non-replicating the RNA into the host cells, direct transient expression of the SARS-CoV S antigen. So there is a cellular immune response and neutralizing antibody, which will respond against the S antigen and may provide, may provide protection against COVID-19. So there is a necessity for the second dose vaccine, although some study have shown that Pfizer may provide uh, protection to COVID-19 as early as 12 days after first dose. A study published by Polak et al. stated that the efficacy for first dose was only 52% and rose up until nearly 100% after the second dose. It is possible that those who receive single-dose vaccine will only have partial immunity after seven days of administration and may be resistant against variant type of SARS-CoV infection. However, this study was found contradicting from the Israeli, Israelian cohort study in which they found out that 90 percent effectiveness up until day one, day 21, even, even before second injection. So from our reported case, both of the healthcare workers acquired COVID-19 vaccine and they only completed single dose of vaccine at the time when they were tested for positive COVID-19. And in, the, in addition, both of them were asymptomatic. So for the conclusion, this case illustrates that the importance of completed two-dose Pfizer vaccine for protecting against COVID-19 infection. However, further wider study is required to offer adequate assessment on the vaccine effectiveness and infectiousness. I would like to thank my co-authors uh, on, on the paper too. Thank you very much.